tonight like a lecturer because I want us to pray and I really want everybody to understand this it is easy to know that a territory listen carefully maybe let me change the word and call it a siege let me change the word and call it woes so that it will psychologically relate to you but the name is a cause if I change the name it's only for your comfort not to change the reality it is called a cause Are we together? Our idea of a cause is someone who offends you, then you make a pronouncement in anger and it brings a cause. No, no. It is that idea that makes us feel guilty. Say, no, 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 I didn't offend anybody. No. In this world, once you are alive, you have to find out what happened before you because you can be a victim of a story that predates your existence. Are we together now? It is easy to know that a personality, a family, a territory is under a cause. The first indication of the presence of a cause in a life and a family is patterns. Repetition of negative patterns that seem to veto the individual's prayer life that seem to veto the individual's supposed spiritual activities. Please pay attention. Patterns. Patterns. The classic indication of curses and blessings in the Bible is patterns. Patterns. The same way, the same way you can know that a man, a place, an individual is blessed. There is a track record of frequent happenings regardless of the condition are we together yeah so we look at the life of abraham isaac jacob the israel of god and we see a pattern everyone who spoke against them was judged by god there was something upon them every time they violated his dictates they were given to their enemies it was a pattern Patterns are very common in the lives of people. Now, we just pretend that they are not there. You see, let me tell you something. One of the major reasons why people do not rise in power and faith, listen carefully, is because of insincerity. When you want to approach spiritual things, you must be open-hearted and sincere. Are we together? Your heart must be broken and contrite. This pattern ranges from all kinds and it happens everywhere there are patterns as far as finances are concerned there are patterns as far as family lives are concerned you turn and look around the average family in africa and you will know that there are patterns now pay attention and follow me to the end of the lecture don't be quick to just say no, 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 no. But it doesn't exist. I think I did something about it. A cause, causeless. If it still remains, the cause is there. A cause, causeless. A cause, causeless. If I have a boil in my hand and I go to doctor, if I come to you and I have a boil in my hand, you will tell me that this boil is a reaction, it's an effect of something. Is that true? The boil is showing that something is wrong. So the cause is not the failure. The failure is a message. The patterns are a message. They are not the cause. The cause is spiritual. The cause is an atmosphere. It's like a cloud. It's like a mantle that an individual can carry. Has capacity to break barriers. Has capacity to follow you. It can pursue a man. It can overtake a man. The Bible personifies a cause. In Deuteronomy 28, you see that he spoke to them. 
a list of blessings and then curses he said it will pursue you and overtake you travel to london travel to uk travel to your village go to school marry be wherever it can follow you it has that capacity that limitless ability a quality only given to spiritual things a cause is not failure a cause is not barrenness a cause is not retrogression all those things are messages they are symbols that signify the presence of such an atmosphere upon a man hallelujah are we blessed Joshua chapter 7. Let's look at it very quickly. Something interesting happened there. We'll read verse 1, then we'll jump to verse 10 to 12. Joshua chapter 7, verse 1, and then we'll jump to verse 10 to 12. But the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing. For Achan, the son of Kami, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took of what? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against who who carried something god was angry against help me now I, there's a revelation i want to show you who participated in the loot help me did they loot as a congregation did he consult them to loot the bible says he smuggled an item that he was prohibited to carry correct and then what happened the anger of the lord was kindled against who verse 10 and the Lord said unto Joshua get thee up wherefore liest thou tossed upon thy face because they were defeated a small city defeated them and Joshua went to God Israel had who sinned it never said Achan had sinned we are Bible students it never said Achan had sinned he said Israel had sinned and they have transgressed my covenant which i commanded them for they have even they 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 have even taken of their costing and have also stolen and dissembled also and they have put it even among their own stuff verse 12. therefore the children of israel could not stand before their enemies but turned their backs before their enemies why they started by taking something at cost and in verse 12 they themselves were one man whose eyes saw something and he said no i can't let this thing go like that and he smuggled it quietly and put it in his pocket and god was watching and god said israel you have seen and all of them think of the innocent people that died in the war they were all preparing oh god will give us i mean if god gave us jericho what is ai a small town and in their midst someone smuggled an item and all of a sudden they went to battlefield imagine them moving warriors and they were utterly defeated and joshua the embarrassment was too much and he went back to god crying and god said stand up please this is not the issue of prayer you need to understand i need to give you understanding don't just lie down crying for nothing he said israel has sinned they took something and by this time he said they themselves were a cause he said neither will i be with you anymore except he destroyed the accost from among you the accost was no longer a thing but a person a cause is real i wish they were not i would have just told you i was joking let's be serious now a cause is real don't you see them in your family I know you act like they are not there don't you see them around listen carefully don't you see them in the life of pastors don't you see them in the life of apostles prophets great people a cause does not mean you are a sinner write it down you have to get this a sinner like one possessing the name listen listen i want to teach you something just pay attention whatever you don't understand just keep following a cause is not necessarily a symbol that an individual personally sinned against God. There are many families, there are many individuals, 
carrying things in their lives that they can laugh around and pretend in church that this thing does not exist it doesn't happen but we are watching with our eyes remember the bible says a cause causeless shall not come meaning if it comes don't just probe the effect what is the cause back to my boil example so i have a boil and my hand is swollen and i run to the doctor and say doctor help me and the doctor looks at it and smiles and says ah your white blood cells are fighting something are we together now they are fighting something or um what they call this thing fever sign ah pastor jt good to see you i didn't realize it was him hallelujah and then fever sign and then he tells me that that fever sign is a sign that there's war somewhere when others are feeling cold you are feeling hot correct you try to stand in the sun you start feeling cold again you don't know what is wrong with you that reaction is a sign that a war is going on somewhere whoever wins you will soon know if you don't recover it's a sign you are not winning and that means you must seek assistance and the doctor will say okay i need to introduce something in your life and then he introduces something and all of a sudden things start changing and you cannot enter your body to know whether you are winning so you use the absence of that evidence as a sign that you are recovering all of a sudden listen a boil that refused to go you put rub it refused to go you put local herbs are we together palm oil it refused to go immediately you know something is wrong this is not sometimes it can even mock you and go and come out or come out somewhere else the boy is saying it doesn't matter where i come out i can come out anywhere for as long as what is causing it is still there but when the doctor explains to you the issue is not the boil the issue is and sometimes he will not even ask you to bust it he introduces something to your system then a boil causeless starts drying you watch it dry and it disappears and within a week you never believe anything is there then you now confirm by the absence of that thing that it is gone so don't sit down and tell me no boil is swelling we are all watching it grow you say no boil we are seeing it we are not stupid a cause causeless shall not stand you may not appreciate this because somebody is paying your bills now you may not appreciate this because no matter how careless you are you don't sow but somebody's harvest is paying for you so you are thinking you are the one sowing a day will come you will be exposed to a reality where you will now see that your life is dependent on the outcome of your understanding there are patterns that should not happen to believers if they are happening something should be dealt with it should not be ignored it should be understood and dealt with brothers and sisters hear me i tell you the truth by the authority of the lord jesus christ causes are real yes they are yes they are there are families today that all the men in that family never move forward they never rise they never become anything Ejimi, the men do not have to be irresponsible they are sincere people very sincere people there are families where every month per year somebody must die regardless of how sincere they are loving people it can even be after a church service on their way back they die after a prayer meeting rattling in tongues for hours you can't say they don't love god there are families if a man looks at you and says i love you even that man what will happen to him that night he will never repeat that statement again now he doesn't know why you too you don't know why you think the issue is okay am i too fat let me be on a diet no you are trying to rub palm oil on our boil remember our story I know many hard-working men hey, Jimmy, they have been working in their 20s sincere godly people till today they are begging there are people who start building 20 years it has not reached LinkedIn level 
No. Brothers and sisters, we are intelligent. How many graduates you see in a family? Seven graduates. The only employed person in that family is a driver. Are they so stupid? They are not lazy. They will tell you they are not lazy. Most times we think it's because they are unserious. And people erroneously say, just forget it's just that they are not hardworking. Please be careful. Some of you as you are sitting now, if you are to be sincere, you know things are not alright. There are families when you give birth to people, things happen. There are pastors, hey Jimmy, they refuse to deal with these things and they get into ministry. Anointed. Remember my story. Born again, filled with the Holy Spirit. Working miracles, but still oppressed by demons. I went to people quietly and I said, what is wrong? They said, don't, don't worry. Man, let me tell you. I don't think there are few people here that quote scriptures more than me. The demons didn't respect it. Shocking. Call the name of Jesus, nothing happened. How do you call the name of Jesus on a crusade ground? And somebody is walking out of a crutch and you call it for your life and nothing happens. I knew I needed to understand something. Your victory starts when you are humble. When you have, you say, no, no, no. There has to be a puzzle to this equation. It can be God. mysterious sicknesses there are people today carrying hepatitis a b and whatever is they don't have when you go to the hospital and say i have hepatitis they ask you who had it in your family even genetics support the reality of transgenerational transference there is such a possibility the fact that you look like your father should teach you something about the realm of the spirit the fact that you look like your mother and your born again did not change your facial appearance is a spiritual reality something listen something should tell you that this thing is real now, you better trust the holy spirit all of us men of god are not older than you by more than 20 30 years the holy spirit is an ancient spirit is god's own spirit he was there when this thing started hallelujah a curse causeless shall not stand i have watched sincere people a hey jimmy bound sincerely there are pastors today as anointed as whatever you look at them you think it's the holy spirit no growth no increase and it's not only ministry it's a pattern anointed born again nothing happened no growth no increase how many people have they thrown away from they went to us just when they went they went with complete papers as soon as they were vetting people one got missing and you know that they didn't hear say look let me explain to you my papers were complete they say come and explain to your embassy in nigeria and they drive them down what of all these devilish things that fly around people's body fibroid lump hiv cancer see it killing men now once a man is 45 years old he starts getting afraid ask the doctors they will tell you prostate cancer once people start getting to 45 46 they are now they are now afraid because of cancer once a lady is approaching 28 29 even doctors start saying marry fast though because any moment from now and every stranger will start growing so once you are 30 and you are not married they will tell you look there's no room to hearing god just hurry up and get all your children fast how many do you plan to have five you need at least 10 years hurry up and catch up it's nonsense the devil is a liar this night patterns how about barrenness a trace of it how about fruitfulness but that not productive you give birth to 10 children all of them are useless there are patterns the ladies must get pregnant out of wedlock before the way now they are innocent and the condition that leads to the pregnancy is the same thing that happened to someone else they don't know themselves but it happened i have counseled people like that
Brothers and sisters, there is such a thing as that. And tonight, God wants to show us that there is a system in the kingdom where people can have dominion. It is not just about what Christ has done. It is that we can be alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in our heart. We have claimed things that we don't know anything about. Let me tell you something about ministry in Zaria that you do not know. I think it was you, Sam, I was talking to. Minist the lifespan of successful ministry in Zaria is three years. You are a ministry in Zaria. If you survive three years, you know the mystery of continuity. After three years, something must arise attempting to rubbish your life. A scandal. Are we together? One kind of failure. Something will just evolve out of nowhere. There are so many people, especially music artists, they've risen from Zaria. Men of God risen from Zaria, but you don't know where they are today. You see a musician just appears and for six months he's been invited everywhere and after that you just go still. Next, we are waiting for the next person. <laughs> yeah. There is a level the devil pegs men and pegs their destiny. You never rise beyond a level. There are families, it's defined for as long as you oscillate within that ambient of relevance, it's okay. But try to cross it. That line will draw you back and say, are you blind? Don't you see that there's a long line? Are we together? Men don't live beyond certain times. The moment you are 35, death comes. See, I saw this pattern in my own extended family. The only person in my father's family that is alive now is him and one of his sisters. I've shared it with you. Very sincere people. None of them died a good death. Mysterious sicknesses that will rubbish your life and none of them ever rose to certain levels. Some of your fathers are like that. They started working from 22. As it is now, if you send them 5,000, they will kneel down and say thank you. It's a curse. It's a curse. Some of you are in school as students. But they are calling you from home. Anything for this month, you say, Mommy, just take it easy. We keep laughing and say there is nothing wrong. See, let me tell you. You don't deal with it, you marry, it follows you there. You don't deal with it, you... Because as you are marrying, once you are standing with your necktie, two of you are bringing everything you represent. And you move into the house. Do you know this is why people erroneously call people witches and wizards? It is because they are open to the prophetic. But because they do not have the accurate understanding of the word of God. They see the spirit that is behind that activity. And mistaking it for the individual carrying it out. So they say no, 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 no. And truly what they are saying is not a lie. They say your trouble started from the day this lady, one lady come. All of a sudden, you said you marry her. You now got married. You were a millionaire. In five months, five months, you are looking for 10,000 to buy a new shoe. Mysterious things happen. Your first car got missing. The second car, police, police caught it. The third car is somewhere else. Your truck capsided like that. The driver slept off. Listen. And your life is reduced back. And then you now go to a man of God. I'm not, I'm not talking against men of God. You know I love the body of Christ. But you go somewhere and then the man, genuine man of God, now looks and says, Ah! Who did you marry? Tosi. <laughs> Thank God you are even still alive. It's just an example, darling. Just an example. Are we together now? Give me your hand. Now. Run away from me. You have to deny me now, Tosi. Be nice to me. Be a nice wife. Are we together? And then the man. You see, men will consult quietly. They will announce in public. Is the anger you see publicly. The man now returns home. Good evening, darling or honey. Say, see, let me tell you. I am throwing everything out of my life that is causing me failure. He stops eating your food. Because he believes that eating your food is why he's now having high blood pressure. And this lady is sincere. She loves God. Are we together now? And they cannot. Why will you call such a nice woman a witch? 
she may not be a witch but she's connected to something that is causing that effect plus the one you are now bringing we have not even talked about the one on the man hybrids of different formulas that are as a result of different spiritual things and you find out that things don't work in people's lives that's why in certain villages they even apportion certain regions and tell you they are what cost it doesn't happen in your village where they isolate a group of people and say these people whoever marries will either die or something and sincerely speaking you go and marry out of bold face and say love is love love is blind Jimmy said marriage will open your eyes you now go and get married and find out that after the marriage two weeks after the marriage you are not hearing again one month after the marriage you can't walk again you see that tell me why a man who has been working in the civil service for 30 years should not have up to 1 million in his account how many children grew up with him two children he's still poor there are families win lottery get anything they will still be poor it has nothing to do with money it's a system listen the system of causes outlive those who cost it it can outlive it the primary purpose of a cause is to create a system for transgenerational allegiance transgenerational allegiance allegiance to deities ultimately an allegiance to satan a system to create transgenerational allegiance our grandmothers and great grandmothers you hear of one woman giving birth to 14 children never went to a hospital no cs out of those 14 children one was a set of twins one was a set of triplets and truly she gave birth to them in the midst of fire and you still see her a mother of 13 children standing her stomach is as straight as an arrow no fibroid no nothing why because before the delivery there is a priest who asks the god and say remember just like we agreed we have been serving you half of our guinea corn is hanging on the tree in respect to your demands so whatever look upon that guinea corn and that goat that disappeared and please this woman now all of a sudden missionaries had passion but no intelligence they came to africa now we love the missionaries but don't forget that they were very limited people say they died of malaria are, are you are you with what you know now was it malaria that really killed them they didn't die of malaria malaria was the servant like a tray that carried that charm you just come in and all of a sudden you organize a crusade and say stop worshiping this deity 300 years old of worship and allegiance you have the gods to bring the head bring everything burn it <laughs> and an old woman is just looking at you and pitying you jesus saves jesus heals they leave you quietly because they know that ignorance can alienate a man from the life of god and the moment you finish first you die all the followers die the remaining return and they say look this thing does not work if i didn't know this i would have been a failure all my life are we together i have seen this thing happen with all humility I don't know how many of my extended people especially from my paternal side that I can look and say this person is successful today 